Hey, 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 it's Jacarius, aka The Soap at the Show, and I'm here to give you a review of the week of March 11th to the 15th of Days by Lives, so bear with me and let's get this started. On Monday's episode, we see Holly reviews to tell the truth about uh, Tate. Give her drugs and Holly just don't want to tell the truth, and and I don't, I can't feel sorry for her for her because she is putting Tate's life on the line, and I just don't feel sorry for her at all, and I just don't. So yeah, then we see Ava, Johnny, Steve, Fine, Trip, and Wendy, um, unconscious. At after being trapped in the thing that they was in, so yeah, and yeah, then we see Abe and Paulina who was still in almost deathbed, and I was talking to one of the people, and I finally realized like you about to leave Paulina. And yeah, we did see Ghost Lessie um on the on Monday's episode, so yeah. And then Abe gets his memory back finally. It's about damn time he gets his memory back. I'm glad he got his memory back. But him leaving Paulina while she was in her dead bed, this is so very disrespectful in my opinion. It was so very disrespectful. And I just don't like it. Then we see Rafe, Jaden, Harris uh, talking about stuff. And some truth hit them hard. Now, I really don't care about the scenes. I like Jaden and Rafe is okay. But Harris, I just want him gone at this point. So, yeah. Then on Tuesday's episode, we see... Tripp and Wendy reviving uh, their help after being locked up in that thing. So, yeah. And rape suspicious were John. And, yeah. Pretty much. That's all. And then, hmm. We see, uh, hmm. Mm mm mm. So we see <laughs> Brady turns to Sarah. Yeah. Mm. And Ava offers to be there for for Harris. So yeah. It's just nothing much I would say about those scenes. So yeah. Then we see EJ Nicole catches um Tate and Holly in the room. And yeah, Tate gets ar- arrested. So yeah, as he broke the rules not to go go to the Demarius mansion, all he was trying to do is to get the truth out of Holly, and she just don't want to do it. And she was about to tell the truth until she passed out. And yeah, I just don't feel no sympathy for Holly, and I'm tired of her. So yeah. In our Wednesday's episode, we see um, a I me mean, Eli and Lonnie visiting at, um, Paulina after she revived from her health and everything. So yeah, and he Eli gets a job offer, and yeah, that means that Eli and Lonnie leaves again. To return to Washington, D.C. Yeah. I may not be a London fan, but I'm glad she's out of jail. So, yeah. It's about time that she's out of jail. And I may not be a London fan, but it's good to see Sal Stowers on TV. I know she is thriving on sisters and everything. Good for Sal Stowers. So, yeah. And Wendy questions Trip about. The proposal. Yeah. I just give. I don't give a care about that. So, yeah. But we see Johnny and Chanel. I'm happy to see Johnny and Chanel 
on my scene, on my screen, because I miss these two couples so much. But I hope they get a storyline, especially Chanel. Like, I want them to have them a storyline together, but I want Johnny to have his own type of storyline without him and Chanel breaking up for like the hundred times or the upteen time. So yeah. Then Johnny Chanel ran into Sarah and and she suggested that she they head to the horny cabin cabin for their honeymoon. And I got and all I gotta say that what's up with the budget days? What's up with the budget? Y'all peacock and now y'all and y'all still doing this. Like we could have seen Johnny Chanel taking honeymoon to the Brazil or Jamaica, something like that. No, I don't, I want better for Johnny Chanel. I I do. I I'm glad they got married, but I want better for them at least. So yeah, that's all I want to say about that. And then Steve can't help to mold his of involvement in class. Um, escape and yeah, <laughs> Ava told him get used to it. <laughs> oh my god! So yeah, that is it on Tuesday's episode. I mean Wednesday episode. I meant so yeah, and on Thursday's episode we see um wow <laughs> we see um John Confronts Constantine. And I just want this storyline to be over real. I just don't care about the John and stuff storyline. Like, I'm sick of, sick of Constantine. Yeah. More recon stories for John, of course. And then Steve sees out Marlena for uh, about John. And yeah. And then Eli says goodbye to Julie. And yeah, this is sad because we had to see Eli leaves again. And I like Eli. He is very cool. And they have him looking at the burnt hoarder house off screen. But I'm glad him and Julie <laughs> said their goodbyes to each other. So yeah. And Harris and Ava, uh, I will say... Their scenes are better than the hospital show, I would say, because they mm, nothing to say. So, yeah. And then we see Eric calls John, Marlene, and Roman to chat about the big day for Jews, Christian, and yeah. The truth will come out sooner or later, and I hope it will come out. So, yeah. And then Maggie, <laughs> oh my God, Maggie is moving on with Constantine, and she's just growing closer and closer to him. And I'm not going to feel sorry for you when the truth comes out. And that's all I got to say about that. And there's more talk about class escape. And I'm just so tired of hearing the name. <laughs> so, yeah. That's it on Thursday's episode. And on Friday's episode, John learns the truth about Constantine's daughter. And he realized that he killed Constantine's daughter. And yeah. And then Tate confronts EJ. Yep. And then Tate is released from jail with conditions. And at least they <laughs> got get him out of jail with only like conditions and stuff and all I gotta say is I like Tate deserves better than that girl cause I just don't care about that girl and I'm so sick of her and Tate deserves better and I may not like Brady or Teresa right now, right now but they try to be the best parents they can so yeah and Nicole stands by her daughter's side as they plead taste case to EJ. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're just too much. Wow. Then Steve begins to tell Marlena about his and John time and 
Arya, yeah, um, and the stories about Constantine and stuff, and yeah, there's just a lot of everything to talk about. So yeah, and Harris knows exactly who to ask about to suss out about Stefan's whereabouts, cause remember he was the one who sh- Stefan was the one who shot um. Harris, so yeah, but that is it. Um, this me this week's episode. So that's for last. So please like, comment, and subscribe. But don't forget to hit the bell. Follow me on IG at the Soap at Show and at Team John Demira for more all things. And also follow me on Twitter at Soap at Show Team John Nine and Day Stand Nine Nine for all these things. And also follow Janelle Forever. And yeah, and also follow me on Dress at the Soap at the Show. And also follow my main channel at Jakari Does Things for more upcoming videos. And yeah, and that's pretty much it. But thank you for watching and have a wonderful day, night, where you at. And bye!